Welcome, 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 everybody. Uh, back here on episode two of uh, the new map. And we've been busy. As you can see, we've gotten into day two now. Uh, bought us a shed over there, got everything. Uh, recording a little bit later tonight than I normally would. Uh, because um, I've been messing with the graphics. Huge shout out to a couple people. Uh, uh, my son, who absolutely helped me with the graphics and you know Raznik from uh, YouTube helped me with some graphics um, but we're gonna make sure that we definitely um, see this through and we're just plowing and what I've been doing is adding uh, we're just creating a field here, and I'll do that in a second here, as soon as I get this turned on. There we go. And as you can see by way over there, we are creating this absolutely huge field. That's what we did yesterday, um, finished up. And hopefully doing some better things with life. Hope everything's doing good. There. And away we go. Like I said, I'm going to keep the, uh, the cruise control at 8. Uh, i got to shift that. Eh, let's see how far I make it before it starts to not overlap. Um, but, you know, like I said, uh, I'll keep it about right there. The, I was having some issues with OBS, major issues at that, to, uh, Every time that I would record and then play it back, it would come out super blurry, and I was super not excited with it. Uh, posted on YouTube, and I was like, okay, I got to get the videos out. But they were super blurry. Um, but uh, the, the couple people that I talked about a few minutes ago were helped me with the graphics. And hopefully when I play this back, it'll be really nice. Uh, we've decided to make two ginormous fields here, one that's... My guess is probably going to be about 20 acres when we're done. And the other one is going to be a big giant grass field, probably another 20 acres. But as you can see, this map is, is not huge. It's only a 2x map, standard map. But as you can see, we own 22, 23, 24. And I've decided to combine them all. And then down here in the corner, I've decided uh, to make one giant grass pasture for the, for the animals. And so that we can make silage and hay and yep, I knew it was gonna do that, so I'll just go back and get a little scooted up here. I had to uh, get my voice set and so I can do this and wing this around. But I also wanted to talk a little bit about um the YouTubers out there that are doing such amazing things, a lot of things, Farmer Klein, Raznik, um, they're doing some great stuff for the community, Virtual Farmer, all those guys, Farm Sim Guy, uh, Simulation for the Nation, uh, you know, just take a chance and uh, watch all of their videos because everyone's got a different way to do things, everybody's got uh, their own way to do things, and what I want to do is just... Uh, I want to keep it as real as I can uh, without, because every farmer is different. Even in real life, every farmer does things different. Every farmer believes theirs is the right way. All I can do is tell you how we used to do it uh, growing up. And that's just the only thing I can do as far as my experience. So I may be uploading this in the morning because uh, it's quarter to two in the morning where I'm at. And it's just, um, I spent, once everybody went to bed, I spent about three hours just trying to monkey with this, with the graphic settings and getting them correct and trying to make it perfect. And that's why I'm filming. So, but we finally made it into day two, uh, 10x speed, the, the speeds just go, 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 go. And that's cool because it'll keep us moving. Uh, I also have to remember to get some grass down in the cow pen. Because on the other map, 
it uh, when I placed the cow pen down it placed grass with it this one didn't and I think it's because this map is just a stock map I think it's just the way it is so I'll just paint grass but the new seasons update they did uh, once you paint grass it allows it to grow uh, the other thing I'm gonna do in this video is just um, explain how things would work like in real life you wouldn't subsoil at eight miles an hour it just wouldn't work you'd break all the tines off on it and it just uh, it's too fast you would probably go what we used to go is you know two to three miles an hour uh, and that's just cold hard facts uh, you know um, that's why farmers a lot of farmers these days are going to the no-till they're just going to cultivate it because you can cultivate it 10 15 miles an hour and it's fine because you can fly right along you know seventh eighth gear on your tractor and you can just do it um but a subsoiler especially one like this that rips it you know 18 24 inches into the ground um you're not going to go that fast so but for the sheer sake of farm sim, I'm going to, you know, keep this field going at this speed. But that's about the speed you would go. You know, two, three miles an hour. And you would just go. Because times on a, on a subsoiler or a plow are rather expensive to buy. But as you can see, we've, we've accomplished quite a bit. Um... We've gotten, I'll show you, uh, seven and 7.55 acres plowed already. Um, and that's just these few passes. Um, and that's, it, this field is going to be ginormous when I'm done. It may take me two or three days, but, uh, you know, in, in real life, we had a 60 acre bean field that we fed to the cows and 60 acres, you know, took four days. You know just to get harvested and it would take four or five days to plow it uh, and that's plowing it for 10 12 14 hours a day and uh, would take you four days uh, so the commercial farmers out there the way they do it up Midwest and Iowa and Indiana and big 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 farmers Wisconsin they just uh, they have huge equipment multiple multiple workers uh, if you ever watch those videos, just YouTube them, you know, um, you know, put in wheat harvest and you in, in Texas, for example, and they've got five, six, seven combines going at once and, you know, 15 meter wide headers on them. Well, actually, you know, 55 feet wide. Um, and they've got multiple grain cart guys, There's usually 10, 12, 14 guys in a field at one time. But the small time farmers don't do that. Small time farmers just go. Um, one guy, two guys, maybe, you know, when I was growing up, we only had the luxury of, you know, me and my dad and, uh, the neighbor kid, which ended up being my brother-in-law later married my sister, but, uh, it just worked out to where that's who we had and that's what we did. And, you know, bailing, Hey, one guy had to drive the tractor and two guys, we picked them all up by hand. Um, which is why I use the super strength mod because it re represents what you would do. Uh, we didn't have any motorized. We didn't even have a, a, a what do you call it there to bring us up the bales and the uh, to the barn, to the top of the barn. We had to throw them up by hand. And one guy, two guys up in the barn, and one guy down in the wagon throwing it literally up two stories. Uh, and you know, anybody who's ever experienced being hot. You can sit in a barn when it's 90 degrees out and throw hay in the middle of summer. You'll uh, you you you'll know what hot is. Uh, but we've all done it. Many of you watching this have done it, and it uh, builds character, as my dad would say. Uh, but we didn't have a conveyor belt. That's the word I was looking for. Sorry. Uh, now the neighbor farmer uh, down the street had a conveyor belt, and we were so jealous, and we always wanted to borrow it, but he never wanted to. Uh, let it go because me and my brother-in-law didn't <laughs> we weren't the greatest with equipment we tended to break a lot of things and tended to be a little rough with things and so I don't blame him he's like no I'm not gonna let that happen you guys will you know 
you break that, you're in trouble. A couple thousand dollars. Uh, but he also didn't have big tractors and things. Like this tractor, for example. First of all, it's a fantastic mod. Um, but it wouldn't be used in a real farm situation plowing. Uh, maybe if you absolutely had to. It would be used in silage, where they were compacting the silage because of the tracks. It's, it's really heavy. It doesn't get stuck that much. Um, it, uh, it works in a silage pit really well, but it wouldn't work on a farm. Because what you're trying to do with a subsoiler is break up the, the field. That's why, uh, as I explained earlier, why a lot of fields or farmers these days are not going to. They're going to no-till, which means they're not doing this step. They're going, you know, they plant, they harvest, then they cultivate, and they, they uh, fertilize and spread manure, and, the, and some of the bigger ones will lime, some of them won't, but uh, they don't do this, this step that I'm doing right now. So if you're driving up a, uh, on, a, on the grass, like I'm doing with those big tracks, it would squish it down, and then you wouldn't be able to uncompact it, it would just be, you'd get tracks all over. Uh, plus, going around the edge of the field, the rounds, or headlands, as they call them in Europe. We call them rounds. But they, uh, they just definitely, it would, you see how you're making furrows, that's what they're called. And when you plow, you make furrows. Well, the furrows on going one way, you would do your rounds last. You would do your field up to a point, then you'd plow in your rounds. Because you definitely don't want to drive over what I'm about to right here. In real life, you would not take that big tractor with the big tracks, and you would not drive like this, because it would, you see how it leaves tracks, but in real life, it would squish all the furrows down, and then it it wouldn't help you. So, realistically, this one would not be used, but for the sake of farm sim, and for the sake of trying some new things, uh, I figured I would try it. And, and, you know, as far as farm sim physics work, it works well. I understand why farm sim does it, or they allow so much, because people get bored. Farming is not the most glamorous job in the world. Farming is definitely something that you you do, you know, second, third, fourth generation, and it's in your blood, and that's what you do. And you're feeding America as, uh, you know people don't understand the farmers out there uh they work from sun up till sundown and they're just what they do and anybody who's farmed in real life understands that anybody who hasn't doesn't and it's just but just it's the same with every job in america or europe or asia or anywhere else in the world uh if you don't do that job it's very hard to understand so i understand why giants would change it to uh, allowing you to use tractors like this and allowing you to just do whatever you wanted in a game. Um, we, like transporting animals, we would transport animals with a pickup truck and we had an animal trailer, but it was very small and it was only allowed to hold, you know, we could maybe fit six cows in if we are lucky. So if that trailer straight ahead of me taking a... a trailer like that with 18 cows in it is not realistic but in farm sim world it is and um so you know you, you play the game and you mix and match what you have to do uh to make it i mean i could play this super realistic but you guys would get so bored watching the same thing over and over and over again that you would uh you wouldn't watch the videos so you gotta, as a YouTuber, you gotta change it up. You gotta do things differently. That's why you see a lot of YouTubers, they'll have mul multiple Let's Plays going at once because otherwise they'll go insane. And that's, it. Does, they do it for that reason too. Because we got, as kids, we got to the point where we knew where every rock was, where every stump was, where everything, and you just, you could drive around it. You knew where you would get stuck, where you wouldn't get stuck. And it just, it's, it's a mundane job. Uh, we had a lot of fun at it. We tried to make it a lot of fun. But farming isn't necessarily fun. It's work. Like when you get up every morning and go to work, you, uh, that's what you do. And uh, 
you know, let's check in on our local. Uh, we're almost at 10 acres already. Uh, take a quick spin over here. You see, we've got a long ways to go. It might even be 30 or 40 acres by the time we're done with this. And if it takes me all of spring or all of early spring to plow, that's that'd be more realistic anyways. I am finding out that uh, 10x speed uh, keeps the time flowing enough to where it feels like real life. Like, in real life, you would plow or subsoil you know, probably maybe one or two acres an hour, uh, if you're lucky. So at the end of the day, 12, 14, 16 hour day, you're doing 16, 20 acres. On the commercial farms, uh, where they have, you know, 20 meter, 25 meter, you know, cultivators and things, they in seven, eight guys, 10, like I said earlier, seven, eight, 10 guys doing it, they can plow a thousand acres in a day, or I mean, cultivate a thousand acres in a day. They can seed a thousand acres in a day. Um, and it also goes by, you know, not only what size equipment, but what kind of help you have. And like I stated in the other video, video the other day is that commercial farmers, they've got money for that stuff. They don't make a lot of money farming. Nobody does. It's not a, a glamorous job to where you're going to make millions of dollars a year. You get a lot of government help and you get a lot of things that you need to, to do to keep your farm moving um but a normal small time farmer like we were you would have three four meter equipment and you'd have 50 60 acre fields that would take you four days five days to do and that's how you stay busy because you don't get up enough in the morning as a farmer and you don't say well i'm gonna have an entire field plowed today doesn't work that way. Something goes wrong. Something always takes forever. You got to go to the local store. You got to, you know, oil up this and fix the tines and do this. And it's just a nonstop battle. So my hat goes off to the farmers that are still doing it. The second, third, fourth, fifth generation guys that are still doing it every single day. And to me, that's who feeds America. And that's who feeds the United States. And that's who feeds... Uh, the world because there's not just farmers here there's farmers all over the world and they're feeding the world and when you go to the store and you buy the stuff you want you know your cereal and your things that has wheat in it or grain in it that's your farmers that's your farmers doing that for you so i mean i've rambled on enough about farming uh now we're going to ramble on about the game a little bit so my goal is to get this field plowed uh, it's not going to happen today because my timer is going to run out here soon um, it's not going to happen today or tomorrow, probably, or even the following day. But at least we got past that gosh awful rain. And uh, I'm just going to turn around and I'm going to wrap this up today. But thanks for coming along with the journey. You know, um, if anybody ever asks any questions about the farming world or what happens, um, you know, don't feel hesitant to ask. And, we, we all do things different, like I explained, but for the most part, people do things the same. Um, shut my tractor off for my OCD. Um, oops. <laughs> yeah. Back her up here a little bit. And just, you know, we'll just keep this kind of like a discussion type thing. There. All right, and jump out as I always do I try to actually it's a nice looking tractor uh, jump up on my hood to say my goodbyes uh, the, uh, hopefully you guys see the difference in the graphics you know look out for each other you know look out for yourselves and take care of your families look after each other's families because it's important and we've done 10.34 acres and we have a long ways to go and uh they take us two or three days, but try to keep you guys interested in what I talk about and things and maybe do a few things like building some shed sheds and like and subscribe and do the whole YouTube thing and everyone have a great evening and I'll catch you all on the flip side.